Hello, this is Faisal Ahmed, your expert sales trainer. Now let me tell you something about myself. I've been training all students for the last 15 plus years and I've trained 4,000 plus students successfully. Now today in this video, I will tell you everything about the format of ALS. The reason is, if you want to be successful in ALS, understanding the format of it, it's the requirement. Without it, you won't be able to achieve success in it. So there are four areas which are tested in ALS, namely listening, speaking, reading and, and writing. Let's talk about speaking now. Now, IELTS speaking is a one-to-one -one session with the examiner. It lasts for between 11 to 14 minutes, depending upon the, how long the examiner wants it to be. Now, let me tell you, there are three parts in it. The test becomes progressively difficult with every part. The part one is the easiest, because in part one, the examiner asks you, very basic questions, very easy questions related to the topics which are familiar to you. For example, the topics are related to your family, to your friend, even to your house, to your hometown. It lasts for about four to five minutes. Then the examiner will move you to the next part. Now in part two, the examiner will give you a cue card. Once you get the cue card, you will have one minute to prepare yourself. After that minute, you will have to speak on it for two minutes continuously. Now you, will, you have the option in the examination, either to organize the ideas in your mind or to jot something down on the piece of paper. It's something totally your choice, whatever you feel comfortable with. Let's talk about listening now. So far we have talked about speaking, now let's move on to listening. Now in listening, there are 40 questions. There are four sections in total. In section number one, there are 10 questions. In section number two, three and four, there are 10 questions as well. In section number one, you will hear a conversation between two people and they will be talking about something that will be based on social content. In section number two, there will be a monologue. A monologue means a single person would speak to you. In section number three, there can be up to four people. And in section number four, there will again be a monologue. Now, you need to remember in the first two sections, the context is social in nature. It means the everyday life will be involved in it. For example, somebody would calling to hire a taxi or a student may be calling the library to inquire about some books. Now, as far as section number three and four are concerned, the context is academic in nature. It means that the language that you will hear in examination will be slightly more comprehensive and the difficulty level will be higher as compared to section number one and two. Now, since we have already talked about listening and speaking, let's talk about writing. In ALS, you will have two tasks to do, writing task one and writing task two. Now mind it, the writing is slightly different for journal ALS and academic ALS. In journal ALS, in task one, you are given a letter. It may be a formal, an informal, or a semi-formal letter. Whereas, in academic ALS part one, you are supposed to attempt an illustration. It may be a pie chart, a bar graph, a line graph, a table, a map, or a diagram. As far as task two is concerned, it's the same for both academic and journal ALS. 
you are given an essay. Now, for essay writing, you are supposed to write at least 250 words. That's the minimum requirement. If you wrote 249 words, the examiner would mark you on that. Same is the case with task 1 as well. There is a minimum word count requirement. That is 150 words. And if you wrote 140 words, the examiner would mark you on that. Now we have talked about all the modules. That is speaking, listening and writing, except reading. Now let's talk about reading now. In IELTS examination, you are given 40 questions to attempt in reading. And then you are supposed to do them in 60 minutes. That's the allocated time. There will be three sections. And in each section, you will have between 13 to 14 questions. Okay, now we have come to the end of this video. In today's video, I've shared the format of our video. But in future videos, I will be sharing the tips and techniques with you of how to become successful in us. Like our videos, subscribe our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more updates.